from Fox 55 Sports, this is The Locker Room. Hey, final time here in the locker room. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for sticking around tonight. Well, Prince, we talked back during our first yeah. show of the season all the way back in August about who had the best chance of playing football on Thanksgiving weekend down in Indianapolis. I think we all agreed South Adams had the best shot, and uh, now here they are tonight with a chance to clinch that trip to Lucas Oil Stadium. Yeah, the Starfires playing in semi-state for just the third time in program history this evening. A win would get them to the state finals for the first time ever, but to get it, they've got to go through the defending state champs in Class 1A. Yeah, Lafayette Central Catholic in burn tonight to take on those Starfires. They it's got like the, Swiss days. They got the, they got the field long. all dressed up down there. James Arnold warmed up, ready to go. And as we mentioned, the Knights... They're a perennial powerhouse, a small school powerhouse. They strike first in this game. First possession of the game, they go down the field, but have to settle for a field goal. Makes it 3 to nothing. LCC. Ensuing possession for the Stars, Arnold. James Arnold trying to get something going, but he's picked off here. Lafayette Central Catholic has all the momentum, but after that, it, it was pretty much all <laughs> AC. It's 7-3 to three South Adams now. When we pick it up in the second quarter, Christian Somerset fighting his way through the middle into the end zone. Look at look at the checkered. The I love checkered. it. They don't, they don't normally paint the field down there. They don't mess around. They're, they're feeling festive tonight, and rightfully so. What a what a night it was in Burns. Somerset makes it 14-3 Starfires. Second half, Starfires starting to roll. Arnold, Trey Shock. How about this move? Breaks a tackle, and he's got the speed to seal the deal. Makes it 21-3 South Adams. Just a few seconds into the second half on the next possession, you're going to see Arnold connecting with Braden Bixler. Another big chunk play for South Adams. Prince, they got so many weapons, and Bixler it's not even fair. is one of them. Speaking of weapons, maybe the ultimate weapon for this South Adams offense, Nick Miller. It's Miller time! The big fella. Pounding it in from a yard out. South Adams takes a 28-3 lead, and they still weren't done. Later in the second half, you're going to see Arnold finding shock again, this time out of the backfield. He makes a few dudes miss, and Prince, we talked to him yesterday down in Burn. He was excited. Uh, or talked to him earlier this week, I should say, down in Burn. He said he saw his brother lose to Pioneer in semi-state in 2014. He obviously didn't forget that feeling. South Adams, they're headed to state Final score, 42 to 9. They roll in the 1A North Semi State. We knew after last week that we were going to struggle. Maybe not necessarily struggle, but it was going to be a slow start. They're a good team. Uh, we knew that uh, we just had to come back and fight the adversity of not scoring right away like we usually do. So just knowing that we were prepared to come out here and score points. Um, I am so excited. This means so much to our community, uh, more than I think we even realize. I can't go like five minutes in the hallway at school without a teacher stopping me, uh, telling me how excited they are for the game. Um, in the community, everywhere you go, there's signs up, uh, windows painted, stuff like that. It just means so much to our community and everyone. I'm so glad we could do it for them. Or even before this game, you drive down the, the road and you see uh, signs on the businesses, go star fires, you see signs everywhere. I, I, the, the amount of text messages I get from people, just the support for these guys and, and they're great kids from great families. What they do is absolutely incredible. So proud of the senior class. Yeah, awesome night in Burns. Starfires will take on Covenant Christian in the 1A title game next weekend. Lures will take on Western Boone. Start times and uh, days still to be announced. Still to be announced there.